Hi, so uh, we are here in Joomla and we're kind of heading towards this, um, this uh, um, nice looking portfolio website. Notice it has a slider and then we have an additional um, way that we pop up our articles into a modal dialog here. So it creates kind of a nice one page uh, portfolio. Okay, so at this point we have, we have customized the template. We've uploaded a template, we've customized the template. We have added the article, so that's the content that's gonna happen when we pop things up out of the slider. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead in and we're gonna actually add the slider and the custom module. Okay, so at this point what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a plugin and a module. Okay, uh, and so this is the, these are the next two types of extensions inside Joomla. So notice we have templates that apply to like the look and feel of the pages. We have modules, those are pieces of code that appear on the page. So for, for example, this slider right here is a module. Uh, and this piece of custom uh, HTML here is a module as well, well this, uh, this picture in the, in the quote here. Okay, so, um, so let's go ahead. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install a couple different things here. So we're gonna go extensions and then manage and install. And we need to install um, the, the plugin that actually creates this module effect. So when I click it, it does this kind of in the window pop up, right? We call that a, mod a module, not a module, a modal, okay? So we're gonna call it, we're gonna find modals, okay, and search. Okay, and if I click here, modals, and I click install, that's gonna install for me. Okay, I click install, it's already installed. And then the other one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click uh, DJ, uh, actually I'm just gonna do slider, and it's gonna come right up. So I installed modals, and I installed DJ slider, okay? <laughs> so it's kind of funny one, DJ image slider right here. Okay, so DJ image slider. Uh, that's the other one that I'm gonna install. Okay, DJ image slider is actually a component here. Okay, so let's take a look at um, the DJ image slider, okay? So, so basically what we have here is that the component is kind of a back-end thing. So the component is a back-end uh, uh, screen here, okay? And then the thing that actually displays the data in the component is a module, okay? So, DJ image slider that we have right here is both a module and a component. Okay, so you'll see what I mean in just a second. So, so basically, um, let's go into the com let's go to the component first. So we're going to do components, go to DJ image slider, and then click uh, slides. Okay, so we have one slide so far, uh, and we're going to go ahead and right click on it um, and open in tab there. Okay, so this is the editing. And, um, and what we have here is we've actually already selected an image. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and, uh, and uh, copy this, okay? Copy the content here, because I'm gonna be copying it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and click New. So we're gonna make a new slide. I'm gonna paste the original code here. Notice that I have this kind of section where it says modal. So this tag right here, remember we, that we installed the mo modals uh, plugin. So what a plugin does is while uh, while a module, a module in Joomla is a piece of the screen. So it's something that sits on the screen and gives us some kind of functionality. A plugin, on the other hand, affects all the code on the whole website. So this modal plugin, basically, anytime it sees this code right here uh, that we have, just a second, getting back to it. This, see this, there's curly brace, curly brace, right? And so it's closing tag. So it's like an opening tag that has a f opening curly brace, closing curly brace, and then modal, which is a um, opening and closing curly brace. Okay, you can just copy what I have here. So pause and literally write that down. Okay, the other thing you can do is when you install the modals uh, dialog, um, if you have a, um, if you have a article, let's see what this data visualization, in the, when it installs, it actually installs a button on the editor so we can just put in module, right? Okay, or sorry, not module, a modal right here. So we have modal, it didn't actually do anything. Oh, it's waiting, oh, there we go. Okay, so 
we can actually, it will actually create this code for us, which is really, really, really nice, okay? However, when we make this new slide, uh, I'm not seeing where modal is, so, um, so I don't think it's actually here. Okay, but anyway, so that's the, that's the, the modal was created by this code right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we need an article to display. And the article that we're gonna display is this data visualization article. And where we're gonna find that URL is we're gonna find it under the menu. So we're gonna go to the portfolio menu and we're gonna click on data visualization. So under menus, we go to portfolio menu, click on data visualization, and this is the URL right here. Okay, so notice that it's very easy. There's the URL and we're gonna Control V to paste. Okay, and we're going to call it data, not data science project. So under title, the title attribute here, we're going to visualization. Okay, that's the title of the dialogue. And then we're going to say read full project reflection. All right. Um, okay, and we're going to call this also the title of it. It's going to be data visualization. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and select the image. So we go ahead and click select. Notice again, we have the exact same, um, exact same um, images here. In this case, we're gonna select this kind of other image. Select insert, and we're gonna go ahead and click save and close. Okay, so we just went ahead and added another slide to our slider, right? So this is under components, DJ image slider and slides, and we just added another slide. Okay, we included in that code this, uh, the code, so in the slide text, we added code that causes this modal that you see here. So when we click on it, it generates the modal. And in the modal, it loads the article that we already made, if that makes any sense. So these one page uh, websites can be, uh, you know, you're getting a lot of functionality in one place. So hopefully you're following along. Just go back and, re and listen to it if you don't. Uh, okay, so the other thing we need to do is under extensions, we have our component, our um, DJ image slide component, right? Image slider component, and then we need to go under modules and we need to kind of adjust the module. So notice that it's automatically here. Okay, so we need to go to the DJ image slider, make sure that its status is a green check, right? So it's, it is, uh, it is um, published. And then we're gonna go in, we're gonna do the slider source is not a folder, it's a, the component, okay? Everything else we're gonna leave the same, okay? Except uh, just kind of make yours look like mine, title yes, description yes, read more no, title link title no, yes, link description no, okay? And then also we're gonna go to show title hide up here, so we don't want the module to actually show its title, all right? And, um, and then for image menu assignment, we're gonna do uh, only on page selected, it's just for the home page. And I believe that is it, okay. Oh, the last thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna set the height of it. So we wanna set, set a full width sli slider as yes. Um, and just make these match. And also slide height is 200, okay. And then full, full width means it overrides this slide width. So uh, save and close. Okay, also what we need to do, so that our modal looks right, we also need to go ahead um, uh, and, uh, and change the um, global configuration here, and we'll do that in the next video. Okay, so that is our initial setup of our uh, modules, uh, our um, slider um, uh, installation, uh, along with the module, or sorry, modal pop-up. Um, and so if we go ahead and reload here, we can kind of see it. Okay, so it didn't turn out just right, right? <laughs> so it's showing me two of them. I got my product description though. Okay, we got our data visualization there and our modal. Okay, but you notice that we, do, we, only, we, only, we only want one to show up at a time. So uh, let's go back and then we edit that in the module here. Uh, so number of slides to display, visible images is just one. And save. And let's see what happens there. We're gonna go ahead and reload. Interesting. 
interesting. Okay, sometimes to uh, to edit the look and feel of these, we have to kind of mess around with the settings a little bit. I'm not super familiar with it, so let's just, you're going to be able to watch me figure it out here. Okay. Interesting here. Let's go ahead and um... oh, there we are. Okay. So it seems that uh, we are now uh, good to go here. Um, it has worked itself out. So uh, it's a little bit bigger than we wanted, but it looks pretty good. Um, and so let's go ahead and call that finished. So we have our two slides running, and then we have our uh, our additional custom. Uh, HTML down below uh, and we have our modal going so there we have it so the setting that fixed that was setting slide height to 100 interestingly enough all right okay uh, best of luck